Hey everybody, I just got my brand new Toshiba Thrive delivered from b &H, photo and video. And there's the box for the Thrive. Ooh, there it is. First thing I notice about this box is it's very sturdy. It's got an interesting little notch to get to the label to get off. Wow. Okay, there we go. And there it is, front and center. The Thrive. It says so right on the tablet. Now the first thing people were talking about is um, the Thrive is slightly bigger than your average um, tablet in terms of, well the screen size is a 10.1 screen which is a few inches larger than the iPad uh, 2 and it's thicker than most of the other tablets. I'll hold it out that way so you can see the, the depth. So there's like my pointer finger and the tablet just to get an idea. But I don't really care about that because it's several pounds lighter than my laptop was. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the screen protection and they do a very good job protecting the screen. Actually the whole thing is wrapped pretty tight. Now if the battery does not turn on, it's not too big of a deal because apparently it goes to a full charge in about one hour. So you can see the very nice screen there. You can also see the reflection of my camera. Pretty cool. It's a very, very, very nice surface. Now let's see if we can get this baby turned on. Oh, there we go. It turns on. Very smooth animation for the intro screen. I'm not sure if, oh there you go. Now I have to, I believe enter my Google information. And it has found my Wi-Fi setup. trying to connect to my Wi-Fi in the house. Set all my information. Gotta find my Eastern, Eastern time. Date. Wow, it's got all the information up to date. I don't even have to set that. I'm going to skip sent, uh, signing in with my Google account right now, so I can just get right to the home screen. And, wow. The screen is like super bright. I'm going to tilt this a little more so you can see it. The resolution is amazing for um, any device I've ever had, including my desktop monitors. There's not a whole lot on the computer right now because I just got it, but let's put that off to the side. Let's put it so you can see if it fits in. A quick start guide for the Thrive, and it's uh, nicely bundled. So a quick start guide. All the uh, different covers you can get for it. There's a lot of different colored uh, back covers which is removable and you can get to the battery very easily, which is nice. You can charge up a second battery and take it for travel. Um, larger manuals, blah, blah, blah. Typical stuff that comes with a new product. Thrive stickers, I don't know if you can see those. There we go, it's a little, they're translucent. I guess you could put them on a external case for carrying. Problem with starting up, retry.
a very slick packaging. All the inserts are black and the box is black, so it's it has a very slick look to it. This is the you see adapter. We have a USB cord. We have a this is the other end of the AC adapter. This, this plugs into this. And I think that's it. It does not come with an HDMI cable, which doesn't surprise me because most devices that have an HDMI out still don't come with cable. I don't know why. There's a problem with my connection right now, so that's not going to kick in. I'll make another video later where we have it, we have everything working. Uh, somewhere on this device is a port. Here we go. There's an array of ports. There we go. So you can see here there is a, a USB port. There's a HDMI out port and there's a mini USB port. It's also a headphone jack. And this is where I believe the power supply goes. Yeah, that's where the power supply goes for the uh, tablet. And one neat thing is this, this piece is like very rigid. It doesn't have that cheap, you know, um, plastic feel to it. So when it snaps back into place, it really feels like it's one with the, the body. There's no you know, it doesn't come out from the body and hang out there sloppily. So that's it for uh, for right now. Until I can get my Wi-Fi set up, and then we'll go into um, more detail with the features for the Thrive. All right, so I finally got my wireless router hooked up. I had to get a brand new. Netgear uh, N600 wireless router because my old Linksys crapped out on me. So thanks a lot, Cisco, for ruining half of my day. Anyway, um, one of the real reasons I got this tablet was to get the Photoshop <clears throat> Touch application, which is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> the Photoshop Express application for mobile phones really is nothing more than an image editor. Um, and everything I've read about the Adobe Photoshop Touch um, makes it out to be a much more versatile software. You can do things like layers and um, selections on an image um, and do real Photoshop work as opposed to, again, the Express application, which is really just um, an editor for all intents and purposes. So I'm just downloading this. Um, through the magic of editing, we're gonna cut to the final uh, scene of this. So according to the marketplace, Photoshop Touch has successfully installed. Very nice little intro. I guess I'll accept. I'll allow Photoshop to spy on me. Um, begin tutorial because this is brand new for me. Um, let's pick a really simple tutorial. Um, let's try to replace colors. So we just do a simple swap of red to blue. All right, the magic wand tool. Tap the toolbar and scroll to the magic wand tool. Let's lasso. Wrong one. There we go, there's magic wand. Tap tolerance to increase oh, to 50%. Okay. 
can just under 50% here. Okay. Tap the red area of the sign to select it. We have the marching ants around the red. Okay. Tap the add to selection icon. Tap the areas inside of the O and the P. So now we have the marching ants around all of the red. Tap adjustment, color balance, enter red nine, minus 100, green minus 100, blue 100. Okay. Adjustments, color balance. Where the heck do we have color balance? There we go. Minus 100, minus 100. No. Tap upon. Okay, we did that. Deselect. Okay, now we have a blue stop sign. And the tutorial is completed. Cool. So I made a blue stop sign which is way more than you can do um, in the Photoshop Express for mobile devices. Um, one thing I have to say about the, the display on this, it's really just as fast as the iPad 2 or any of the other uh, tablets I've played around with at the Verizon store. They have that new Motorola Zyboard, things like that. It's really smooth vibrant colors, it's bright, it's everything I would want uh, for a tablet, so no complaints there. Um, there's a lot of, I would consider it to be bloat, you know, pre-installed games, but I can probably get those off the machine. Uh, let's see what else we have. Let's just go to the browser, with the CNN real quick. Let's see how my website looks on here. My site's almost completely JavaScript at this point, but there is some Flash, so obviously we're on a Google Android device and Flash won't be a problem. We'll just uh, let my page load up real quick here. All right. So, I know this B&H piece over here is flash based. So you can see flash starting to happen over there. Okay, now load it up. I have a few galleries on here that are flash based. This gallery right here is a flash piece. Pause the slideshow. No. There we go. I just love that all the little intricate pieces work. I mean, I remember my first Blackberry and what a piece of crap that thing was. You could barely look at a website with that. And now you're to the point where. Let's see if I can blow this up. One thing that's pretty cool about the. Uh, Thrive is, it's got a pretty quick refresh when you go to portrait view. One of the best features of the Toshiba Thrive is the ability to remove the back cover and you can access the, the battery. So I'm just going to do that. There's a little notch that is on the back here to slide it over. So basically there's two little notches where the speakers are comes off pretty easy that is the cover just plastic even the camera cover comes with it that's not part of the unit and then you have access to the battery it's right here you can just lift it right out and uh, 
put into backup. Each battery is good for over eight hours, so that's uh, pretty damn good. And the batteries are like literally this thick. I'm not going to take mine out right now because it's on, but they're just super thin. You could store 15 of these things in your backpack and no weight whatsoever.